Surge and welcome to Brainstormers Report. In tonight's weather forecast, we'll be bringing you close coverage on the ongoing drought caused by BCBD and the repercussions of Blackbinder Plague. Our meteorologists are on scene investigating the causes and consequences of these severe weather systems. Stay tuned for special coverage on The Hole. Let's first turn to a fleet Alex for an on-scene report of the incoming BCBD. A fleet Alex, what exactly is the BCBD and how can we prepare? I'm here at Park Avenue and 41st Street underneath the cyclical dark cloud known as biennial cumulus bionic darkness, more familiarly known as BCBD. As we know from the past, this darkness is headed straight for the Whitney Museum on 75th and Madison and we are predicting its imminent arrival at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, March 2nd. Once again, it seems BCBD is causing severe drought in the art world and the female primate is exhibiting an inability to exhibit. Women in science have released shocking new research regarding this mysterious yet predictable weather pattern and are now asking these questions. Does the Y chromosome create a magical successor that BCBD cannot penetrate? Do female primates need to acquire the Y chromosome? Which of these experimental accessories will offer access to the staggering professional success equated with BCBD immunity? These products have not been approved by the FDA. Try in your studio at your own risk. Pharmaceutical side effects may include dramatic increase of income, invitations to exclusive parties, high profile press coverage, and loss of gender identity. Scientists are encouraged by the Bush administration's recent increase in funding for female primate health issues. Congress has already earmarked an additional $50 per year to support this critical research. Our meteorologists are also looking into how BCBD affects curatorial decision making. We have unconfirmed reports that curators have been responding to Y chromosome magnetism. We've surveyed survivors of the Venice Biennale for advice on what you can do to prepare for this incoming storm. This past summer, female primates tried the once guarded secret herbal concoction of citrus insect repellent, deep hot oil hair treatment, and fishnet trust falls to survive BCBD inclement weather zones. Back to you, Storm Surge. Thank you, Fleet Alex, for that informative investigation into the mysteries of BCBD. I'll be getting my hot oil hair treatment right away. <laughs> Here at Stellar Vision and Design, we have developed the Infrared Double X Identifying Glasses. After years of research, we developed this innovative technology to help curators identify female primate artists. In our laboratories, curators were studied with our rigorous testing methods, and we found that the female primate artist is seen as an amorphous, unidentifiable, if not invisible, blob. With the infrared double X identifying glasses, you can improve your vision, take the risk. Soon you'll be seeing 50-50. Stellar Vision 
intention and design was right. My curatorial vision is now crystal clear. The change was painless, and I suffered no adverse side effects. My shows are better. My nightmares of amorphous blobs have disappeared, and 7.65% more people like me. If you are watching this advertisement and you are suffering as one of the top curatorial offenders, call now. The infrared double X identifying glasses can be yours for just $19.95. I took the risk. I took it. Let's turn to our local forecast now with expert meteorologist Galloping Grocer, who's standing now at the center of the storm. Thank you, Storm Surge. I'm standing here on site in front of Mary Boone Gallery. And as you can see, the storm conditions are severe and treacherous. A plague of black binders has descended on Chelsea, and I am in the eye of the storm. Female primates have been hit hard, and it is gruesome scene here. Binder levels are up to my knees. With only 17% of the solo shows, this past fall dedicated to the female primate and the ongoing lack of representation of women in galleries, it looks as if this storm is here to stay. Controversy continues to surround the causes of this storm. Expert Klaus Claus says that this plague has been the natural state of the art world since God first said, let there be an art world. Others believe that humans have caused this profoundly unnatural state of plague. Satellites in the 1950s began detecting a hole in the natural aesthetic barrier that allowed binders from space to enter the Earth's atmosphere. The Clement Greenberg Comet may have been the initial trigger for the black binder bang. Discriminatory dealer behavior has been supported by market atmosphere which have thus encouraged increasing mutations in the directions of progress and purity. Thus, the whole. This expert argues that negative consequences have already been felt around the globe. Humans must act quickly to prevent disaster. Though financial reports portray a strong market, the negative consequences of one-sided dialogue and short-sighted criminalizing of female primates who speak out may eventually undermine market gains. The Bush administration has earmarked $6 billion to prove the intelligent design of the art world. Even though the majority of MFA students are female primates, dealers have had difficulty seeing them. We recommend the infrared double X identifying glasses, which should be worn at all times for easy viewing of female primates. Back to you, Storm Surge. Thank you for that special report. I know I'll be picking up a pair of those infrared double X identifying glasses. How about you? Tune in again for continued weather coverage from Brainstormers Report. Thank you and good night.